anyways, the weather, I, I can laugh because it's beautiful. Yeah. It really is Not very nice out there. Not whatsoever. Exactly. I mean, we're looking at the very large rain, so Coro County, Temperature 80 degrees right now with all that sunshine out there and dry air. You know what that means. I'll show you clouds and radar. Well, I dare you to try to pick out a cloud out there because we don't have any. And that's because we have the high pressure building right over us. Something unique I do want to show you. You see this wave like pattern in the upper level moisture. That is our jet stream or what we call our storm track. And as we get further into fall, that will work its way further south. And that's when we get more and more chances of rain and snow like we usually do during the winter. But at least for tonight, none of that expected. Clear, cool conditions expected tonight. 33 for Taos, 45 Santa Fe, 46 Albuquerque, 52 for Roswell tonight. And as we go into your Thursday, a couple of things will begin to change. We'll have this cool front begin to move into eastern New Mexico by the time we're talking the afternoon evening. It will be pretty gusty for the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in much of eastern New Mexico for your Thursday afternoon. Your Thursday planner in Albuquerque, cool in the morning, 48 degrees at 8 a.m. By midday, we'll be approaching that 70 degree mark, and you are seeing that correctly. We could be back up into the low 80s by tomorrow evening. Planning out your day with high risk future cast for tomorrow. We'll stop this at 8 a.m. or should say 7 a.m. Here's your 7 a.m. temperatures. We get toward noon tomorrow. Even th though we do have that cool front coming in, you're not going to see much in the way of cloud cover from it. Like I said, a little gusty for the northeastern part of the state. And then we'll see some high cloud cover begin to move in as we get toward our Thursday night. That leads us into our Friday. The front makes it all the way through. A little bit of gusty wind in the Albuquerque metro first thing Friday morning that gives way to those cooler high temperatures by Friday afternoon, only by about five degrees. And then we start the new weekend. We'll see some high cloud cover here and there through our Saturday afternoon. Still mild and dry conditions. And by Sunday, it's the same deal, but we will see an increase in that cloud cover as our pattern change does begin to take place. So let's look at extended future cast. High pressure is really in the uh, dominant force for our forecast through at least the weekend. We're talking one week from today, so think close to Halloween, which is next Thursday. That's when this trough begins to move in. That leads to cooler temperatures. It also leads to the chance of a little bit of snow possible for our North Mountains and Southwest Colorado. A lot of details to fine tune since it's still seven days away. But I show you this because this could be our next pattern change and our next chance of a little bit of rainfall across the state by the end of the month in the early part of November. But hey, but the southeast tomorrow, we're talking near record highs again. Roswell, I know you're still drying out from that the record flooding that you had last Saturday night and Sunday morning. You could touch 90 tomorrow afternoon. 81 for Silver City for your Thursday. 88 in truth to consequences. 90 for dimming. Lots of sunshine anticipated for the southwest and the Four Corners region, where temperatures here will be mainly into the 70s. We're talking 71 in Durango, 72 for Farmington. Still chilly mornings out there. We're starting the day in the 30s, both tomorrow morning and Friday morning. And then those temperatures cool off just a little bit by Saturday. Highs in the 70s still, though. 77 for the Española Valley, 69 for Taos, 71 for Santa Fe tomorrow. Again, a little gusty along the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, for, so watch out for that. Same thing for Santa Fe, a little breezy by the afternoon. We cool off slightly Friday and Saturday. Highs built back into the 70s by Sunday afternoon. 75 in Las Vegas, 77 in Raton tomorrow, 81 for Santa Rosa with lots of sunshine. Sunshine stays with us through the East Mountains as well, with temperatures here mainly into the 70s after a cool start to the day. And in the metro, yeah, that's a lot of 80s you're going to see out here because that's what we're forecasting. We could hit a record high tomorrow, 81, or at least tie it, 81 is what we're forecasting. 80 for Rio Rancho, 81 for Albuquerque. We keep those dry conditions until we turn windy next week.